Okay, so I'm really gonna try not to rant in this video. Um, something really annoyed me the other day about a nutritionist basically giving um, information that was completely wrong to one of my customers um, and my customer then being annoyed about it when there was nothing to be annoyed about. It's really frustrating. So I'm gonna explain it all right now. This is growth and wear rates on cow's feet. Okay, so nutritionists and farm advisors have a job to do and they get paid really well to do that job. So they need to justify it by giving sort of insights and information and different advice on different things around the farm. And I get that. Guys, if you're doing it, make sure you give the right advice. This is why I'm doing a video on growth and wear rates in cattle. How fast do cow's feet grow? How fast do they wear? The ideal length for a Holstein cow's feet roughly is 75 millimeters, 75 to 80 millimeters, depending on the size of the cow. Their hoof wall horn actually grows at a minimum of five and a half to six millimeters a month. But in the summer months, it can actually go up to nine millimeters per month. Don't ask me why it grows faster in the spring and summer months, but it does. It also wears slightly faster too. While it grows at between six and nine millimeters per month, we'll go for sort of seven. Okay, we'll talk about seven millimeters per month. So if it, say it grows at seven millimeters per month, it usually wears around five millimeters to six millimeters per month. So there's a deficit there of one to two millimeters. Now, what does that deficit mean? Well, it matters because that, that's why we routine trim. We routine trim to correct any problems that the deviation in wear and growth rates make happen. Uh, so basically, if your cow's feet are growing at seven millimeters a month and they're wearing at five millimeters a month, then every month they're two millimeters longer. Now, the reason I was trying not to rant is um, a customer of mine had seen a cow that had trimmed six months ago and thought that the feet looked a little bit long. Now, they definitely would look a little bit long because <clears throat> after six months, if there's a deficit of two millimeters per month, then that's 12 millimeters longer. So half an inch we're talking um, longer than when I trimmed it. And to me, that's perfectly acceptable because you definitely don't want the wear rate to be higher than the growth rate. Because if you did, then the cow's feet would look like this. And this is not good. Um, this is basically a place where they weren't feeding as much protein as um, a lot of other places, but the cows were also out on severely coarse and sharp tracks. So the cow's feet were wearing abnormally quickly. Um, this creates a huge problem, by the way, um, for the cow. When we look at cow's feet and we think that they're really hard, they are hard to us, but remember that cow could be exerting a force of say 60, 70 kilos on that foot. So to us they're hard, but to the cow they're nice and tactile and soft and pliable and they'll actually contour around stones. So when it comes to the speed that your cow's feet are growing at, um, so this seven millimeters per month that we're gonna talk about, that means that roughly every 11 months, it's a completely new horn wall. So here is a cow's hoof. I'm gonna add some graphics to it. So hopefully, bing, there's one right here. Um, this shows you the age of the horn. So right at the top there, you've got horn that is about a week old. Um, six millimeters down, the horn's a month old. 12 millimeters down or 14 millimeters down-ish, it's two months old, yada, yada, yada. Till you get to the very bottom of the foot. So if this is a perfect trim and it's 75 millimeters long, that horn is a year old. Think about that. That horn has been growing all the way down there for a full year, but any of the horn that has been there before has been worn away. So if I trim a cow in January, by July, so six months later, half of the hoof wasn't there when I trimmed it. But it also means that 30 millimeters has worn away from the bottom of the hoof and from the wall horn. So it's effectively not the same claw that I actually trimmed. So how long does preventative trimming last? The remnants of the actual trim will last two months. If you do a fairly severe model, so when you're dishing out the middle of the sole, if you, a fairly severe model is about 12 millimeters deep. That 12 millimeters will have disappeared and regrown within two months. So after two months, if you pick up a cow's foot that I've trimmed perfectly, 
there will be no signs on an average cow this is there will be no signs that she was trimmed two months ago so we won't be able to see the correct length we won't see the correct height and we definitely won't see any of the model left if it was 12 millimeters thick because obviously the wear rate is about five to six millimeters per month two months so we routine trim two and a half times a year that is the ideal now when the cow gets to six months post trimming so she's been trimmed six months ago there should be an excess of horn there to trim off otherwise why would we be trimming her there would be no point whatsoever in trimming her if they were perfect um yes modeling out would slightly help but the main issue is weight bearing if the feet were the correct length then we couldn't take any off and the weight bearing would most likely be correct so if you're looking at feet on someone else's farm or you're looking at feet on your farm and you're thinking my trimmer trims these and they've, they've been trimmed once this year why are they long well they should be slightly long they should have grown two millimeters per month longer they'll actually grow in seven millimeters but the growth bees wear deficit means that there will be an extra two millimeters per month um, on top of where they were when the trimmer trimmed them. So if you trim them at 75 millimeters and you're five, millim uh, five months down the road, then they will be about 85 millimeters. So if this is um, disappearing after a two months time, three months time, then why do we continue to routine trim? Well, after a year, there would be at least an inch overgrowth um, if the wear factor is taken into account of two millimeters per month being added to the feet. So us trimming every six months say or every five months which is the ideal um, means that they never become overly grown yes a little bit of excess here and there and it's slightly unsightly but it means that there will never be a truly um, agonizing overweight bearing on one of the claws compared to the other if your nutritionist talking to you about feet then try and substantiate what um, level of training he's got, what level of information he's got, where he's got it from, and is it truly correct? Um, this kind of thing can really lead to problems. I've had another nutritionist in the past um, complaining to the farmer that I wasn't trimming in between the toes. You shouldn't be trimming between the toes because if you do, you're gonna really, really reduce the weight bearing capabilities of the white line that's between the toes. So you get a little curve here and there, and it's okay to take a tiny little bit off, but not routinely trimming between the toes. That is a serious no-no. So if your nutritionist is telling you that yes, they would look neater and tidier if the guy trimmed between the toes, talk to him about functionality. That is what we're here for. We are here to provide functional hoof trimming for cows. So by functional, I mean, when that cow comes in, she should be leaving with better weight distribution. So any source of pain should have the weight relieved from it. And even if there's no source of pain there, the weight should be evenly distributed between the two claws so that we don't get any problems. Um, so yeah, next time your farm advisor or your nutritionist talking to you about feet, um, really try and substantiate the level of sort of um, knowledge he has on the subject first. This has been Growth and Wear. Um, if you've got any questions, any insights into the video, if you think it's terrible, if you think it's fantastic, leave a comment down below, please. And I'll get back to you if it's a question. If not, probably just give you a thumbs up. Cheers, guys. Bye.